fully prepared for Christmas because we have another gorgeous tablescape oh. by you two. So we're still looking at the red, but you're, you're, you're a little bit less rustic. You've done rustic with this lovely contemporary piece. Do you know what we've done, Tracy? We've changed the balance because previously the red was a big dramatic shade yeah. of Benjamin Moore on the, on the back flat. Now we've kind of taken it down a gear or two. This is our folk art Christmas. Now we love like. the simplicity of this. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, we've used the same table and the same chairs, again from EQ3, but dressed differently, they take on a completely different look. Now this is a really low fuss affair. There's nothing mm -hmm. here that's gonna challenge anybody. I think everybody could put together a look such as this. And I guess the key components, again, the detailing of the, I love these, just look at these gorgeous little runners. They're almost French in their ticking design, but they've got a kind yeah, of slightly nice. Nordic little kind of X frame in the middle there. And that lovely rustic mix, I think that's one of the key accent points. Yeah. It's a really comfy look. I like the uh, the plates as well because is that is that supposed to be Santa? Oh, oh it looks like Santa. Look at little Santa. Isn't that cute? Oh, this so is cute. great, but you can just pair this up with your white plates. You exactly know, what we've done there. You know, that's the thing. You don't there. want to go overboard on something you're only going to use once a year. Right. So why not just add one inexpensive little key element? You know, the decor here is all from EQ3. It's really modern and I think in keeping with the whole kind of like blonde aesthetic of the table. Nice. You know, and as Justin said, the table runners. It's good if you can delineate space. You know, map out your space. So that everyone knows what they've got. You know, they yeah. can see. Stay away their from place. my food. Which yeah, exactly. this is my area. That's my turkey. Keep Only your big yours. dirty paws off it. Now, it wouldn't be a Colin and Justin project if we didn't adapt something. Now, right. we always say look around, guys, to what you have. If you've got accessories that can be made more powerful and seasonally correct, then mm -hmm. do that without spending. This okay. simple mirror here, this is actually from our own cottage. Normally, it's completely wood toned, but we went to the craft store, <laughs> we bought some red card and, and a similar kind of dramatic red as we've detailed with. That's you and put some on yourself. Black, and we snipped this. out with a craft knife oh, and then cool. some paper glue to attach each of these things. Now that's really low cost decor, that's a kind of a couple of bucks for the card. Yeah. But it instantly snaps a bit of personality into the room. And then come Christmas being over 12th night, you go in there and you just delicately peel it away, rub the paper glue off and pop it back up in your wall. <laughs> nice, so you have not destroyed it. Nothing is destroyed no. in no, any of our schemes. Want. Lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, Great at this idea. time, you know, there's a real risk, isn't it? That you decorate the house and then suddenly at the end of the holidays, it's kind of bare, isn't right. it? And you're left with nothing. So why not think about buying like winter pieces that are actually going to last you mm. the whole season? I love the rug in here. Again, this is from EQ3. It looks like a really chunky sweater. cable knit sweater, yeah, doesn't nice. it? It looks like some big Nova Scotian fisherman has just turned up. <laughs> easy, Colin. Going, Hello there. <laughs> Hi there. Come and kiss me, Cod. <laughs> um, <laughs> easy, Colin. <laughs> And it's got a beautiful <laughs> chunky knit. It's so warm and it's great <laughs> under food. It's fabulous. I love this rug. Good. We talked good. earlier on about the Britannia Trading Company, who we absolutely love. Some right. really clever products. This, you guys will obviously know, this is the classic mm. Canadian mason jar. It's been heated again, and if you see it from its side profile, yeah. it has slumped in. <laughs> She's now, got some nice curves there. Oh, I'll tell you what, darling, <laughs> curves in all the right places. Nice. I love that. Again, from the same chaps down here, these simple heart motif coasters. Now, the heart oh, is a cute. big trigger mark for Christmas when it comes to folk art. So these little Britannia trading companies are just perfect. To me, this is simple. I can yeah. imagine sitting down here, slicing away an elegant turkey, a couple of potatoes, not too many carbs, <laughs> mind, and a glass of wine. Christmas is coming. And Christmas is here with these. Okay, so are these, like, like is this DIY? Did you get these at EQ3? These are from EQ3 Are as they well. easy to put you know, together? Yeah, I mean, they just slide together, you know? And I think it's, it's their very kind of essence, isn't it? This is great. You know, it's about understated elegance, the whole yeah. blonde timber thing. And maybe there's something in there, you know, that when you're decorating for Christmas, maybe it should actually complement the look you have already rather than kind of compete with it, you know? Yeah. So sure, right. we showed you how to do a slightly more traditional look with this. But if you wanted to go for the whole Scandinavian blonde timber, that is perfect. For me, my favorite thing is this big daddy in the center. Okay, so what does that big daddy do? No, that's actually a Parmesan grater. <gasps> okay, and you're that's thinking, so cool. what's that got to do with Christmas? Well, maybe Massimo is popping around, you know, and he likes a bit of Parmesan on everything, the that slim is thing that he is. But it looks like a Christmas tree. It looks like a big party popper. Yeah. But it's a beautiful piece of just kitchen art. I mean, we find in our travels, Tracy, people get really stressed about Christmas, and that yeah, takes the do. fun out of it, particularly families, moms. You guys want to sit down and enjoy it as well. But everybody, if they take a breath, that's what we say, take a breath yeah. and enjoy what you do as well. It should be something that you remember as a joyful time rather than something that was wrapped up in a big ribbon of stress. Yeah, for and sure. And this is a classic observation. Folk art, very low key, no fuss, no drama, mm -hmm. family time, enjoyment time, nice. you it's time. It's about the love, it's about the uh -huh. heart, it's about the presence, it whatever, is. only for me. <laughs>